think the battle's won. Think again. The fact is, for each one we reach, there's one we can't. And if we can't reach them, chances are nobody can. Because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Ellen Kraft was born into slavery during the time when the United States of America was undergoing a series of social, political, and economic changes. Racially ambiguous, owing this to her enslaved African American mother and her father, a mother's white slave owner, she was often mistaken as a member of her father's family. Unfortunately, her light skin and European features did not prevent her from being sold to another family in Macon, Georgia, where she eventually met her husband William Kraft when they were both 16 years old. By 1848, Ellen Kraft decided enough was enough and she and her husband pulled off one of the most daring and dangerous escapes ever known to record for slaves. The odds were definitely stacked against them and to compound their issues, both of them were virtually illiterate. However, this did not put a damper on their cunning, creative resolve. Disguising herself as a sickly, wealthy white slave owner suffering from rheumatism aided in her avoidance of detection. Her husband, who was undeniably African American, with his dark skin and features posed as her slave. They utilized rail cars and steamers as their mode of escape. Ellen's quick thinking and creativity allowed them to avoid detection during their escape. Sometimes Ellen would feign deafness to prevent others from engaging in conversation with her. Other times she would complain that her rheumatism was acting up and she needed to lay down. Additionally, she also added shades, multiple poultices, and different kinds of coverings to her male disguise to draw attention away from her soft skin, striking eyes, and her educated manner of speaking. Upon arriving in Boston, Massachusetts, Ellen and her husband quickly built the necessary connections to live a free life, but soon found themselves under the threat of slave catchers after the passing of the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850. The couple found themselves on the run yet again and they eventually immigrated all the way to England where they resided for two decades, had children, and raised them. They returned to the U.S. in the late 1800s and published a book titled Running a Thousand Miles from Freedom. Ellen Craft and William Craft were brave people who deserved to be celebrated. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video very soon. Alright, peace family.